This is part 9 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to write jQuery case insensitive attribute value selector. Let's understand this with an example. We've got three div elements here. And look at the title attribute value for each of the div elements. It's the same thing, div title. The only thing that is different is the casing of letters. So for the first div, we've got a mix of both uppercase and lowercase letters. For the second div, all letters are in uppercase and for the third div all letters are in lowercase. And look at the jQuery code here. So this is basically telling find all the div elements which have got the title attribute and the value of the title attribute must be equal to div title. So for all such div elements we want to include a 3 pixel solid red border. So when we execute this code, look at what we get. We get a red border only around the first div element, but not around the second div and third div. Why is that? That's basically because by default, the comparison is going to be case sensitive. So let's see how to make this comparison case insensitive. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same example that we have seen on the slide. And when we reload this page, look at that. We get a solid red border just around div1 element. So let's see how to make this comparison case insensitive. To achieve that, I'm going to first remove this value from the title attribute. So what is this going to do? This is going to return us all div elements which have got the title attribute. It doesn't really care about what value they have got. As long as a div element has a title attribute, it's going to include that in the collection that will be returned. So from that collection, what do we want to do? We want to filter out all those elements which does not have title attribute value equal to div title, ignoring the case. So for that, I'm going to use the filter method. And when this filter method is called, we want to execute some code. So I'm going to use an anonymous function. And inside this anonymous function, we want to return dollar this. So what does this keyword refers to here? This refers to an item that is within this collection. So this collection is going to contain all developments that have title attribute. And this keyword refers to such an element. And what we want to do here is retrieve the title attribute value. So this ATTR function, I'm going to pass the name of the attribute. Okay, so this is going to return the title attribute value. And what we are going to do with that value is we are going to convert that to lowercase and then compare it with lowercase div title. So let's copy this string and paste it here. So to convert a selected string in Visual Studio to lowercase, you can use a keyboard shortcut and it is Control U. Now, if you want to convert all the letters to uppercase, there is a keyboard shortcut as well and that is Control Shift U. All right, so what is this going to do? This is going to give us only those elements which have got a title attribute and the value is div title, ignoring the case. Okay, so let's save these changes. And when we reload this page, we should get a solid red border around the three div elements. And for example, if we change this to one div title, and when we reload this, we should not have a border around div three element. Now let's look at another example. Let's see how to make this attribute contains selector case insensitive. What is attribute contains selector name star equals value? We discussed this in detail in our previous video session. So let's understand this with an example. Again, we have the three developments and all of them have got the title attribute. And if you look at the value, all the uh, attribute values contain this substring div. And look at the code on the right hand side. So this is basically telling find all the div elements which have got the title attribute and the value of the title attribute must contain this substring div. And if you look at the value of each of the div element, you know, they contain that substring div. But then the casing is different. And 
as a result of that, look at what we get. Only a red border around the first div element, but not for div2 and div3. So let's see how to make this attribute contain selector case insensitive. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So uh, div title star equals div. And let's remove this filter function. So basically, here we are saying, fine, all div elements which have got the title attribute, and the title attribute must contain this substring div. So look at this. When we reload this page, we only get a red border around the first div element. So let's see how to make this attribute contains um, value selector case insensitive. OK? So I'm going to remove this value. And we're going to use the filter method, just like how we did in the previous example. So let's include an anonymous function. So within this filter function, we are going to use a regular expression, return. So in JavaScript or jQuery, we include a regular expression in two forward slashes. So what is our regular expression going to be? This string div. Now we want the comparison to be case insensitive. So I'm going to use this flag i. Okay, so this i says you know the comparison has to be case insensitive. Dot, so on this regular expression object I am going to call this test method. And then to this test method we have to pass a string. And the string is going to be our attribute value. So dollar this dot attr and we want to retrieve the title attribute value so what is this doing so this is basically telling you know retrieve the title attribute value of the given element within the collection and if that title attribute value contains this word div ignoring the case then we want to return all such elements and for all such elements we want a 3 pixel solid red border so now here, the comparison is going to be case insensitive. So when we reload this, look at this, we should get a border around all the three div elements, OK? Because all of them have got that substring div, OK? Now let's remove this d from here. So this title attribute value now doesn't contain div substring. So when we reload this page, we should not have a red border around that third div element. Now let's look at another way of rewriting this. Here, we're including our regular expression in two forward slashes. We can either do that, or we have this regular expression function constructor. We can use that as well. Okay. So let's see how to use that regular expression function constructor. Okay. So here, I'm going to use regular expression object and look at this this has got two parameters the first parameter is the regular expression itself which is div and then the second parameter is the flags okay we want the comparison to be case insensitive so i'm going to specify that flag i and this function constructor is going to return us a regular expression object and on that met object we're calling this test method so when we reload this, the behavior should be exactly the same thing. And here are the Visual Studio keyboard shortcuts to convert a selected text to uppercase or lowercase. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.